Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about quantile regression. And we saw that OLS estimates are conditioned on the mean value. You can run quantile regression in which your estimates will not only be conditioned on median, but other quantiles as well. Now this method quantile regression it is more robust against outliers. It is more suitable when your primary question is related to the effect of x variable on y variable across different quantiles of uh, the dependent variable. That is, this method is more suitable when quantile functions are of uh, interest. And uh, we're going to explore that how the relationship between the independent variables x and the dependent variable y differs across different quantile of uh, the dependent variable. And the coefficient values or slope parameters that you will get will show the effect of uh, that particular x on y for a specific quantile of y as I will show you in this example. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load my data and I'm going to use this quantile regression data for this example. And then we can look at the summary statistics to know more about the data set. And here I'm interested in knowing how total number of chronic diseases, which varies from zero to seven, affects total expenditures on uh, health. So this is my dependent variable, total expenditures on health. And we can see that the total health expenditures varies from three to $125,000. So there is a lot of variation in this dependent variable. And then we have a bunch of other variables. This variable denotes uh, whether somebody has supplementary insurance or not. And then we have other variables. So let's look at the graph of uh, total expenditures and total chronic diseases. And this red line shows OLS line. So let's go ahead and uh, use the quantile regression instead. I'm going to create this different sequence of quantiles from uh, 0.05 to 0.95 and my quantile will move from this to this by 0.05. I'm going to start with 0.05 and then add 0.05 in it and then get quantile up to 0.95. So let's go ahead and uh, fit quantile lines. So we can see that the effect of total chronic diseases on total expenditures varies whether your total expenditures are at the lower end or at the higher end. So we can see that uh, the slope coefficient, it is different for people in the 95th percentile of total expenditures as compared with people in the lower percentile of total expenditures. So we can say that uh, the effect of uh, total chronic disease on total expenditures depends on uh, the quantile of uh, total expenditures. We can start by estimating an OLS line and then I'm going to use the same function that I used uh, in my previous uh, video and uh, I'm going to add another argument here. Tau, it is the quantile that we want to estimate and here I'm going to estimate three equations. One at the 25th percentile of uh, total expenditures, then at the median of total expenditures and then at the higher end of 75th percentile of uh, total expenditures. So let's go ahead and uh, estimate this line and uh, look at the results. Okay, so let's look at the OLS first. So according to OLS, somebody with supplementary insurance is expected to spend $585 more than a person without a supplementary insurance uh, on average. And this is our variable of interest, total chronic diseases. And it shows that each additional chronic disease increases health expenditures on average by $2,528 in the case of OLS. But this is the average effect because remember this line, OLS line, it is conditioned on the mean value. On the other hand, if we look at this effect at different uh, quantiles, we see that at the 25th percentile or 25th quantile, of total expenditures, that is the people on uh, the lower end of total health expenditures, on average, they spend $782 more on health expenditures with each additional total chronic disease. So this effect is essentially different than the OLS. 
And similarly, looking at the 75th percentile, each additional chronic disease increases health expenditures by $2,855, everything else being constant. So we can see that the effect of each additional chronic disease on total expenditure differs across different quantiles of total health expenditures, which justifies the need of estimating a quantile regression rather than going with the OLS. So let me show you another thing that you can do. You can plot all these quantiles on this line, which is probably more interesting. And here, the effect of total chronic diseases on total expenditures differs across different quantiles. So see, at the lower end, people below 75th quantile, they spend less money as compared with the OLS, which is shown by this red line. But as we cross the 75th percentile, each additional disease makes people in uh, this range spend more money as compared with the OLS. For all other variables, age, female, and white, there is not much difference between uh, the estimated effects of OLS and uh, quantile regression because uh, this uh, red confidence interval for OLS is overlapping with this uh, confidence interval for uh, the quantile regression. So we can say that uh, the total chronic diseases has different impact on uh, total health expenditures based on the quantile of total expenditures. So that was uh, quantile regression. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.